Alright, how's it going today ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another video. Uh, today is going to be a short video. Just thought I'd whip this out. Staying around at home doing nothing today, so I thought I'd get this one whipped out. Um, a few videos back, well I've done uh, several videos on the Treva or Trava knives that you can get from verustalika.com. There's the Puko 110, the 140, and one of my favorites of all time is the Skrama. Um, they normally come with a really good leather sheath, which I went ahead and opted for for the smaller knives, but at the time when I bought the Skrama, it wasn't necessarily in my price range. Um, I did go ahead and get it with that insert, and then later on I was able to kind of config configure a piggyback system that seemed to work pretty good for me, and I did another video, and I will link it right here. Um, feel free to check that out once this video is done, um, but what that was was kind of a piggyback Baldrick style video or kit that had almost everything I needed incorporated into one and I was lucky enough to get an awesome subscriber that uh, sent me an email at my email in the about section and we were discussing a few different things and he said that he could make me a pretty good Kydex sheath um, and that he wanted to send it my way and have me give it a little test and see what I thought about alright so like I said I'm uh, pleased to show you this new Baldrick style rig that Dave, uh, an awesome subscriber, was kind enough to send my way and let me use it for uh, for my knife here. And I'll get you a little bit closer, but he uh, provided this really nice, really nice strap, which, as you can see here, there is a lot going on, but this is my new and my new favorite ultimate baldrick rig so I'll get you down a little closer and we'll take a closer look at it alright so as you can see here this is a pretty sweet setup and I am definitely pleased with it like I said Dave uh, I won't give any of his information out yet I will contact him and see if possibly he's interested in making stuff like that uh, if anything changes I will put the uh, his contact information in the description box below if he decides that this is something that he wants to start making I bet some of you guys are interested in some aftermarket sheaths like this so stay tuned and we'll see what happens with that but we'll just do a quick rundown here as you can see this is a Baldrick style real nice uh, nylon strap here connected to a couple D-rings as you can see on the back really well done I mean he did he did good. I've tried to make some Kydex sheaths and they weren't this close uh, to quality. So really good hardware all the way through, good washers, uh, real good drainage hole here at the bottom. Um, we'll just jump right to the back. As you can see the mounting system there, really well done. And he did set it up so if you want to do some sort of other configuration, it wouldn't be that hard to switch around. And another real nice little touch is he went ahead and put a leather, a small little leather strop here on the back with some green compound awesome little touch on this side we'll go to the front well we'll just get the knife out of the way so really good retention on everything I mean nothing's coming out of there at all so the knife really easy deployment just push your thumb right there and there you go so we'll keep going here so I went ahead and asked him to change uh, um, the ferro rod holder. He went ahead and put it for a, uh, normally he did a solid, uh, longer piece. I had him do a shorter one, turned out really good. I can fit my six inch, half inch ferro rod with the handle, it's the one that I made. Really good retention, don't even need that paracord looped around there, but that's just on there for safety precautions. Another awesome thing is... I didn't ask him to do any of, any of these uh, special little modifications, a couple of them I did, but everything that he provided was just out of the kindness of his heart, and I just think that's awesome. Dave, if you're watching, stand up, job, really good job here. Uh, he also threw in a Bic lighter holder, which I thought was kind of slick, and he even sent a Bic lighter to go with it. And along with that, he put a small uh, flashlight holder on here, and also provided a small little mag light so a good little backup light awesome little touch and like I said the retention on everything is great and then he also went ahead and pressed a uh, 
mount here. It's super snug. I don't have it worn in just yet, but it fits the Leatherman Wave just perfectly. So, like I said, I'm not going to go too far into detail on everything. Um, I just thought I did shoot this quick little video and show you guys just, you know, the things that you can. If you if you look out there, if you know the right people, you can get some awesome stuff custom made for your liking. All right, so there you have it. Like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little <laughs> a quick little video on this awesome custom Kydex multi-carry awesome configuration sheath here for the Trava or Trava Scrama. Everybody knows that sees my videos. I love this thing and now I have an awesome home for it. Um, I did oil it up with some uh, silicone WD just you know to help break it in a little bit and so that the blade doesn't get rusty with any moisture. But give you a close up here of never mind those spots that's just from the, the WD there dripping through. But as you can see just the quality that he did here. And he even provided a real nice strap with it, but these D-rings on there, really, really good job. I do like that big lighter holder, the Leatherman Wave, the small backup mag light, half inch ferro rod, good drainage hole, really, really good on all the edges, really polished and um, up really good on the back here. A really small leather strop with some compound. Like I said, just attention for detail. Um, really good job. Really good job, Dave. So, first of all, I want to throw a shout out to Dave. Thank you very much for sending this to me. This is definitely going to be used. Trust me on that. Going to be. This is definitely the new home for the Scrama here. Now I'm just going to have to get possibly something else for the Puka 110. I really do like the leather look on that, so I might just keep it that way. Um, but yeah, super excited to have this, excited to take it out in the field and have a little fun with it. So if this is something you like, feel free to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click that subscribe button either over here or over here and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.